and it's about Moses Peace. So you guys know he has a new song out and um it's trending, which is good, right? But something else that I've seen or that I keep seeing is whenever those um kind of videos, like whenever his song is posted, if you go to the comments, you see comments like Oh, he's no longer a gospel artist. He's just interested in the views. He's becoming secular. He just wants to trend and all that. And those comments don't sit well with me. Now, this is not defending Moses Bliss because I really don't know the guy. I don't have any word about him. Like, I can't say, oh, Moses Bliss is without <laughs> without blame. Or Moses Bliss is the best. Or Moses Bliss. I, but I also cannot say Moses Bliss did something wrong because of that song. I can guarantee you that a lot of those people that are saying those comments or that are typing those comments heard this same um, thing from someone else and then it became their thoughts. So it's not like they saw that video and had um, a message from God that, oh, this is not good. They must have heard it from someone. This is because I know some people who are saying these things. And when they saw that video, it wasn't something that they didn't like right but because somebody else has said it because there's a viral video about someone some lady criticizing him and after that video a lot of people started criticizing him right now i am again i'm not saying that mrs bliss is um i mean i have nothing to say <laughs> um in this in the light of oh he's still uh, where he was before and i also cannot say oh he has debated because i really don't know the guy and Whilst I understand that it's good to, you know, call out your brothers um, in the kingdom if you think that they are going the wrong way, the Bible also encourages us to do this with love. So you don't just go around accusing people because you're not even sure. What if you're just speculating? This is just speculation. What if you're just, what if you're wrong? Like, what if you're wrong? Just think about it. What if, just what if this is what he's called to do? What if this is the way that his music is supposed to go? What if he has direction to go this way? And he's just following right what if you really don't know just because other people are saying it doesn't mean you should jump on the trend and just join other people to say stuff you don't know if you feel it in your spirit that oh this is not right that's different but a lot of people don't have any feeling at all about this they are just riding on what others have said and are saying their own oh because he's dancing or he's doing choreography moses this is not the first to do a choreography on a gospel song all his songs even Yes, because there's this, Lord, you are good. No, Lord, you are great. You are greatly to be praised. You see, they have no nasita kanas. Bye-bye. Thank you. That one, too, was, it had beats, right? It's not even too far. The beat, and it's, the beat is not even too far from this one that he has released. But for some reason, and then people are now saying, oh, that's why Ebuka songs left. How do you know? How do you know? Some people are now even saying that this is the reason um Ebuka songs and him split because he's going in the secular way and Ebuka is people please let's just say what we know like i said if you have it in, if you if you if you've been told by the holy spirit that this isn't right that's different but if you're just saying this because you think other people are saying it or because you saw him dancing or you feel he has put beats in his song or you feel that this one just likes to trend he's very active on social media you have no right you have no right to accuse him you have no right to judge him no you do not have that right if you feel strongly that this is not the way to go then you pray for him right that's if you even get the strong feeling that this is not the wrong the right way to go because for some people there's nothing wrong in what he's doing but if you feel like oh he's um aligning too much with worldly music this is not how his music should be then put him in your prayers don't go around spreading spreading rubbish news or putting those kind of comments in his videos because you don't want to be the one who is accusing you we all know we all know someone who is called the accuser of brethren you don't want to have the spirit of accusation in you because then we we'll begin to wonder whose spirit you really have so like i said if you feel somehow about what he's doing now and you feel it's wrong pray for him if you have access to him maybe talk to him but don't go around spreading false news or something that you don't have um cogent reason to do okay and um, that's just what i wanted to mention in this video because i see a lot of people um talking about it oh he's no longer on the god side <laughs> who are you to say that like how do you even know but anyway 
that's it for this video if you're one of those people please think again before you leave those kind of comments not just for Moses, this for anybody and this is not even for only musicians some people see people on social media maybe people who preach on social media wearing some kind of things or saying some kind of things and they're quick to condemn um just think be very sure before you say those kind of things because thinking about it now i've seen videos where like gospel content creators have been criticized for wearing a kind of dress or for putting on a kind of hairstyle or for fixing some kind of nails you know or for joining a trend in something and they are badly criticized now like i said if you feel that something is wrong you pray for these people don't go around putting um bad comments or hateful comments or condemning comments about them that is not the right thing to do that's not the way to do i hope that this touches someone at least this you know you guys let me know if i'm the one just <laughs> talking what i don't know or what you feel about this his recent music in fact i'd like to know because i feel like maybe i'm the only one on this so i'm not the only one but let me know what you guys think do you think that this is recent music um is too secular or do you think it's just him trying to put beats or make it danceable and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.